I'm uh, Chris Avalone. Uh, I work at a company called uh, Obsidian Entertainment in Southern California, and we uh, focus on role-playing games. So the very first game that I saw was Bard's Tale 1 on the Commodore 64, and I immediately went home and I'm like, Dad, I think it would further my education if I could learn how to program on a Commodore 64, and also if we could get Bard's Tale, that would be fantastic. I feel the indie scene is where uh, creators can actually really create. And what I mean by that is, um, often when we're doing AAA titles, we're trying to do titles that are very familiar to the public uh, because it makes them more accessible and makes them sell better. Um, so, and it usually involves like, per, like continuing to work on a, on a certain franchise, you know, with the same mechanics, uh, you know, the same role-playing elements. But in the indie scene, you're allowed to break away from that and go, you know what, if we want to approach this from a fresh direction, if we want to explore some brand new game mechanics, that's where we can do it. And I've often felt that I would actually much rather design a game for free and have some other job that I'm doing just because that will allow more freedom of expression. And that's what I feel about the indie scene. Like I feel that the titles that come out there, you see a lot more innovative concepts because they're allowed to take risks. Because they're able to take a title to completion and explore a mechanic that they want to explore without necessarily needing to secure the publisher's sign off on it, um, I think that that allows them to prove out a game concept that someone can play and go, you know what, that works really well. So, for example, like uh, when I was, I was playing this uh, game called Amnesia, The Dark Descent, and in that game, um, they have a technique where instead of actually attacking the enemies directly on, the whole mechanic is to try to avoid their line of sight and sort of turn away from them, which is something that I thought would never work in a title. And, but when playing the game, it really adds the element of horror that you actually can't see these things that are walking around. And if you do try and see them, it actually damages your character, which is kind of an innovative concept. And being able to play that and see that in action and seeing how well it works, I think is really important. Uh, so in terms of like uh, why I think the indie scene might be flourishing, like it's become clear over the past few years that there's a lot more tools and engines out there that developers have access to that they can actually use to, use to build a game themselves. Also, there's a lot of uh, crowdsourcing options available, whether it's like Indiegogo or Kickstarter. All of those allow people to uh, secure funding for their titles if they need to. What I love about uh, the Kickstarter process is right from the very first day, you can start sharing and having a free conversation and dialogue with the community. And I think that has a lot of positive effects. One is it's really great for team morale. A lot of the developers they get to interact with fans, they get energized by the process, and usually there's a lot of positive feedback going back and forth. And second of all, the community is really good about telling you what they want and also what they don't want. And knowing what they don't want very early on in a title can save many, many man months of work. But sometimes what I see in brand new developers is they try and put too many concepts into one game. Limit it to two or three big things that you're trying to do or a feeling that you're trying to evoke in the player. But when you try and throw too many game mechanics into, into a game right at the outset, it usually can create a big mess. So if you just focus your efforts, uh, recognize the few things that you want to do well, and then leave the other things for a future title down the road where you can, where you can expand on it and you have more time. But the narrower your focus, make sure those game mechanics are polished, and that's probably that's the, that's the way to go in my opinion. I feel the indie scene is where creators can actually really create. 